busy week ahead for the Dallas Cowboys here in Oxnard, California, as Training Camp Live rolls on, presented by American Airlines. Kyle Yeomans alongside David Hellman here for DallasCowboys.com. And Dave, I mentioned it, busy week ahead, three straight practices, practices in five of the next six days, and plenty of time for this defensive line to start maybe shifting away from them, from each other. And pads. Oh, yes. Pads, 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 because th this has all just been an, an appetizer to this point. Uh, the pads go on Wednesday, and I am excited. We're going to get to see something that resembles real football. Can't wait. Yeah, that's going to be fun, and it's going to be fun, like I said, for the defensive line, because that's what we're going to start things talking about right now, because there's a lot of question marks around that unit this year because of a lot of turnover, and there's a lot of young talent on the defensive line. What has the rotation looked like for you so far? Well, and the interesting part as well is the, the most established defensive lineman on the team, Demarcus Lawrence, isn't practicing right now, which is it's a big opportunity. I mean, We've talked plenty about Randy Gregory to this point in camp. Terrell Basham, the free agent addition, is another name that comes to mind. I think those are your predominant ends right now, but also opportunities for a guy like Bradley and I, who fan favorite, everybody loves him. We'll <laughs> see you know, if he has a chance when, when the pads come on to really stand out against some of these offensive linemen. And then good luck figuring out the defensive tackle rotation. <laughs> for my money, it's the biggest jumble on this roster right now. So defensive line wise, of course, as a position, you want to have some some youth. You want to have some veterans back and forth. This unit has both of those. How can they mesh together well? I, I'm excited. I think, you know, the Cowboys aren't big spenders in free agency. We talk about it a lot, but these have a chance to be some really judicial signings. And like what I think about Brent Urban and Carlos Watkins in particular, like two guys didn't sign on for a lot of money but they're versatile, which is key for a defense that's gonna shift between 3-4 and 4-3, and, and they are experienced at something the Cowboys were really bad at, stopping the run. Brent Urban, that's kind of his calling card throughout his career with Baltimore and then again in Chicago. If they can do that and make this team more stout against the run, I think it has a chance to help all of those younger guys who predominantly are here to rush the passer. Next to last in the NFL last year in terms of rushing defense, the defensive line was certainly a big part of that, especially on the interior. But is can this be the most improved unit on the squad this year? I'm going to say yes because they don't have to improve that much to be better. It's true. Like it's not – you don't have to do much to be better than the worst. Like they were so bad against the run. So even – marginal improvement is something. So yeah, I think you're right. Another one of those guys that's looking to take a leap from 2020 to 2021, Trayvon Diggs. What did he have to say about the chip on his shoulder heading into year number two when we return on Inside Cowboys Training Camp? Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford is brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. Sleep number. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep only at a Sleep Number store. And by four, built for Texas, built for you. This segment is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. Welcome back into Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford here from Oxnard as things roll on. And one of the rookies from last year heading into their second year looking for a huge jump, Trayvon Diggs on the defensive side of the football, arguably the top corner throughout last season, trying to solidify his role this year. But how much can he improve going into year number two? That's the fun thing about Trayvon Diggs is he's on the short list of guys that get you really excited on this defense. But... Having said that, he, he's got a lot that he can improve upon. I mean, he had a solid rookie season, it's still a rookie. I mean, he, he got picked on a little bit, and he, he you know, the, the quote that's going around that everybody loves is great. You know, he got his hands on 14 footballs and didn't have 14 interceptions, and he wants to change that, which, yes, please, by all means, that would be fantastic. But, you know, getting more takeaways, that's obviously going to be a plus for a team that struggled to do it. Could stand to be a little stickier in coverage as well. I mean, he had his struggles, uh, particularly against the deep ball last year. I think if he can do a little bit better at sticking with his man, I think it would go a long way. Dave, with a little foreshadowing here, we're going to hear that quote. But oh, also, I'm so smart. You are Let's very go. good at your job. But also, Trayvon, how has it been being in Oxnard for the first time, and what are you working on here in 2021? 
It's been fun. Uh, it's a good, you know, change uh, from last year. I'm excited, you know, we get to come out here and, you know, just be with the team uh, more together now. And, you know, it's been fun, you know, building team chemistry and stuff like that. And as far as the second year, you know, I just want to make a, a, a significant jump from last year and, you know, capitalize on all the plays that, you know, I didn't capitalize on last year. So, yeah, that's my main focus. I got my hands on 14 balls. Um, I ended up with not 14 interceptions, so that's a problem. Now, 14 interceptions would certainly be uh, a feat in its own right, but if he could get anywhere close to that, I think Even it, like half, <laughs> half would be amazing. It'll be a welcome sight for this Cowboys defense, but he's a one of a multitude of guys heading into year two after a really nice 2020 draft that are looking to take that jump. Can he have the biggest out of those guys? Ooh, you put me on the spot. I mean, he certainly can. If you are asking me who I think, I'm going to I'm gonna take your guy. Neville, Ga <laughs> Neville Gallimore, for me, is probably the guy that I'm most excited about making a leap into year two. But absolutely, if Trayvon Diggs builds on his rookie year and, and, like I said, can just take another step up from what he did, he was solid as a rookie. Not spectacular, but solid. If he can build on that, I absolutely think he's got a chance. Sticking with cornerback really quickly, who has had the advantage through the first couple days of, of training camp? Still a long way to go, but who has the advantage in terms of the CB2 competition? Man, it's it's fascinating, and I'm I'm on the record as saying I lean toward the vets. You know, Jordan Lewis and Anthony Brown have been in the league forever. Trayvon Diggs got thrown into the fire last year, gained a lot of experience very quickly, but they're rotating. They are giving these guys a chance. Like, Nashawn Wright and Kelvin Joseph have gotten plenty of snaps through these early practices. I lean toward Joseph. Uh, he, I think he's he's more natural. Um, you know, Nashawn Wright is so tall. Like, he, <laughs> I think the adjustment to the NFL game, speed of the NFL receivers is going to be a thing for him. Uh, Kelvin Joseph looks really natural and smooth, though. I, I lean toward thinking it's it's going to be a veteran, but if I had to pick a young guy to, to come after that job, it might be Joseph. Just reminder, Diggs was a second-round rookie a year yeah, ago, true. saw a lot of starting playing time throughout his first campaign. Kelvin Joseph looking to do the same. More to come when we come back with more from Oxnard. This is Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford. This segment was brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. Wrapping things up here on Inside Cowboys Training Camp, presented by Ford. Kyle Yeomans, David Hellman here from DallasCowboys.com. And David, Jerry Jones talking with the media a couple days ago, really updating things on a couple of the stars, former Pro Bowlers, who are sitting out the start of camp. Amari Cooper, Demarcus Lawrence currently on the pup list. What did he say about those stars? Uh, it shouldn't be overly, overly surprising, especially for veteran guys like that, but it sounds like the expectation is Amari and Demarcus will be out until the team gets back to Dallas, uh, DFW. Um, Second preseason game, get done with Arizona, fly back to Texas. I think that's when they'll start mixing in. Jerry Jones did seem optimistic that both of them will play in the preseason, just not this early going. So kind of sticking along those lines with veterans in the preseason, how much do you want to see some of the veterans like a <laughs> Dak Prescott, Amari Cooper, Demarcus Lawrence, maybe even Randy Gregory whenever those four games come around? I love that you phrased it, what do I want? <laughs> I want because you to play I want, GM and coach you. I want them on the bench in baseball <laughs> hats. I am team bubble wrap. I – you know, if Dak needs a series or two to get reacclimated, if he feels like he needs to get hit to sort of be back, that's fine. But then get him out of there. I, like, I, I hate playing veterans in the preseason. I know to some degree you need it, but the risk's just not worth the reward for me. So put them on the bench. What do you feel like this coaching staff's going to do? And you're going to see the normal acclimation, you know, a series or two. Probably not much in Canton, not at the gotcha. Hall of Fame game, but maybe Arizona, a series or two. Uh, some guys, you know, you mix in and then you play a half in one game and sit out for the last one would be my guess. I'm sure you're ready for the big week ahead. He's got a busy week on hand because we've got a busy week here in Canton. He's David Hellman. I'm Kyle Yeoman. Stay up to date on everything Dallas Cowboys training camp on DallasCowboys.com. We'll see you next time here from Oxnard. Inside Cowboys training camp presented by Ford was brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. Sleep Number. The Sleep Number 360 smart bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep, only at a Sleep Number store. And by Ford. Built for Texas, built for you.